The Mi Band 4 is one of the best budget fitness trackers that you can get right now. Okay, not really right now, but you know what I mean. Paired with the Mi Fit app, it can do a bunch of cool things like track sleep, measure heart rate, and a whole lot more. But what if you wanted to do even more with your Mi Band 4? Well, let's find out. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and welcome to my Mi Band 4 tips and tricks video. If you do end up liking what you see here, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Let's now get started. One of the biggest advantages of the Mi Band 4 over its predecessor is its custom watch faces option. While the Mi Band 3 came with three pre predefined ones, the Mi Band 4 gives us more. We get to choose from a list of different watch faces and even customize them. But if you want to take this to the next level, then the Mi Band 4 Watch Faces app can definitely help. The problem with the default watch faces available is that, you know, on Mi Fit, most of them follow the same pattern. And after a while, they tend to get boring. With the Watch Faces app, we get a wide variety of watch faces with popular brands, superheroes, and games. They even come with dynamic or live watch face options. To change the watch face, just download the app from the link in the description, open it up and install the one you like the most. Next, go to the MiFit app watch face settings and change your watch face to the one you just installed. And that's pretty much it. Here you can change watch faces as many times as you want and with the amount of watch faces available, I'm pretty sure you guys will end up finding something that tickles your fancy. Now moving on, we can all accept that the Mi Band 4 is pretty helpful if you want to quickly glance at notifications. But wouldn't it be even more awesome if we could see map directions as well? The Mi Map tab lets us do just that. Once the installation is complete, we have to give the app notifications access and then turn on notifications for Google Maps too. That's pretty much it. Now, whenever we navigate to a place, the directions will pop up as notifications on the Mi Band screen. Pretty nifty, especially for those of us who mainly commute on a two-wheeler. This is a paid app though, costs 65 rupees, so it's definitely worth it. Next, we have a very simple trick that you might not actually know about. So let's say you're in a theater or some other dimly lit environment and you want to turn off the display of your Mi Band 4. All you have to do is cover it with your palm and voila, it turns off instantly. Continuing in the same vein, we can save a bit of battery on the Mi Band 4 by turning on night mode in the Mi Fit app. To activate night mode, scroll down on the band settings and select night mode settings and we can customize it from here. We can either set it to turn on at sunset or we can schedule it to any timing of our choice. Once night mode is activated, it automatically switches from the set brightness level down to the lowest brightness level available. So if you use your Mi Band to check the time in the middle of the night, it now won't blind you with an extremely bright screen. Another useful feature, especially for people who sleep with the Mi Band on, it's auto DND. We can turn this on from the Mi Band 4 itself. Just go to more settings, tap on DND and choose auto turn on. That's it. Once turned on, auto DND uses sleep tracking to automatically silence notifications when you're asleep. Pretty cool, right? Now that's for people who have the Mi Band 4 on all the time. But if you happen to be someone who takes your Mi Band 4 off more often, then this step, it's gonna be for you. You can add a screen lock, well, more like a pin lock to the Mi Band. Go into the Mi Fit app after selecting Mi Band 4 in the Mi Fit app, scroll down to lab settings and set a band lock. This lock activates when the Mi Band 4 is off your wrist, giving you a little bit of extra privacy and security. The best part here is once it's back on your wrist, you're just gonna have to unlock it one single time and it's not gonna ask you for a pin again. Now, our final tip, Let's turn the Mi Band 4 into a remote shutter for a smartphone camera. So yes, this is basically what Samsung did with their S Pen for the Note series. Uh, step one is to download the remote shutter app from the Play Store. Once installed, we are gonna give it these permissions and ta-da, we are good to go. We can have toggle the silent button on our Mi Band 4 to take pictures, videos, and even selfies. Just turn on the camera app, switch to the shooting mode, go to silent settings in the more menu, press the silent button, and as you can see, it takes the picture. The one downside is that it might not work with the stock camera apps from most manufacturers like Samsung, Realme, and even Xiaomi, but there is support for third-party apps like Open Camera, Bacon Camera, and more. So that pretty much covers all our tips and tricks today. Which one of these were your favorite? Also, do you guys have any other interesting Mi Band 4 apps or features that you use regularly? Let me know in the comments below. So that's about it for this short little video. Thumbs up, thumbs down based on what you felt about it. Subscribe and turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4E Tech and I'm signing off for now. 
You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.